see what we can do here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a ladder schematic. And the way we normally build them, they're like rungs of a ladder. Uh, but before we get into drawing it, let's go ahead and title our page here. So this is going to be the Edison Academy HVAC Electrical Project 1. Now, this is also what we refer to as the light switch and receptacle project. Now normally, it doesn't matter if you do the rungs of the ladder first or the loads first uh, you can do either one but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw the loads first so I got this little thing here and I'm gonna go ahead what were our loads for the light for the first project that you did the first one two of them the bulb, the bulb yep the bulbs a load and then I had it wasn't really a load but we're gonna it can plug into stuff for loads like an Xbox or a drill what was the other thing that we wired up here no, nah, it didn't do a fan. Receptacle, yeah. So we got two loads. One load is going to be the receptacle. That's going to be my one circle up here. And for the receptacle, they got a symbol for it. If you looked on blueprints for wiring, it would look like a circle with two lines that go diagonal like that. So if I got symbols, somewhere on the paper, you're going to need a legend for the symbols. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that circle down here and I'm going to draw the lines here and then we're going to go ahead and say that that equals receptacle and if I wanted to be more accurate the one I gave you was 120 volt 15 amp receptacle it can be other ones. The other circle down here, I can draw these little dash marks and I can put an L and that lets you know that it is a light bulb. So I'll go ahead and we'll add that one down here. Could have drawn that a couple different ways. But we're going to go ahead and draw it that way and say that it is the light. just light and I could say light fixture because that's really what we're wiring up is the light fixture itself the plastic piece and then I have one more thing the control what was the control to the whole thing switch. yeah but the switch was after remember you wired power from L1 L2 to the outlet first and then the switch only controlled the light load so I'm gonna put the switch over here like this I'm gonna do the switch right here I'm gonna put two circles like this and then I'm going to draw a line like this going up from one of the circles so that if I did that over here on the legend we know that that is a single pole single row switch whereas if I abbreviate it S P S T to S P S T switch so now I can go ahead and we can put off to the side here at the top the rungs of the ladder so I have power coming in on L1 and then after it goes through the loads it needs to connect to the common or the neutral which is going to be L2 so the way we have it is I'm going to go ahead and change colors now I'm going to draw the hot wire as red I'm just going to bring it straight down and stop it right where that switch is boom now I'm going to take it and we're going to run it through the switch 
and I'm also going to take it and run it right to the receptacle, which is pretty much what you did, except the color for your wire when you did this project wasn't red. What color was the wire that you used? Black. Yes, hot was black. And then there was no breaks to the other side where it went to the white wire, the common wire, which I'm going to draw blue. And I can do it this way. I can do it this way. It doesn't matter what I do first, but I'm going to go ahead and draw the rungs of the ladder here. My right rung, my neutral rung. Stop it there. I'm going to go ahead and draw it over. And then we don't show the ground everywhere, but you also did have a ground. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the ground kind of in the center. And the way we draw the ground is I put a line down like that. And then I put like a triangle upside down with lines. So I put one long line. Then I put a little long, less of a longer line. And then like a little long line right there. And that shows. And I'm going to go ahead and put that under my legend too. That is ground. Now, if I wanted to, I could also show that we did attach the receptacle to ground. And sometimes you might see them put a ground. But usually, once they show one ground, to keep it from getting messy on the ladder schematic, everywhere there's a load, they don't usually put those triangles there like that. You just assume that if they have the one ground shown, Everything's bonded and grounded. Now the light fixture itself was plastic. We, bo we, we bonded the box. We grounded the box, but we didn't ground the light. It didn't need to be grounded. So the way this worked was, is that you applied power to L1 when you plugged it in. You actually measured with the meters probes. You put one in the one side, one in the other. And how much voltage did you read from the outlet that you plugged this into when you read that with a meter? 120, yep. So I'm going to go ahead up at the top here and I'm going to put this whole circuit is 120 volt single one phase. See how I put that zero with the line? It's only got one line, not like the receptacle. That means single phase. It means it only has one sine wave of current like that. That's AC and that's one hertz and that's happening if I wanted to go even further put 60 hertz HZ that happens 60 times a second where it's alternating from positive to negative in that sine wave so this is what I would use for troubleshooting because if I found out that I plugged something into the receptacle and it works the drill works Yet when I turn on the switch to the light, the light doesn't come on. What, what does that mean? Well, it means that I have power coming from L1, definitely energized in the receptacle, and the neutral's connected. But if I flip the switch, either the switch is bad, I gotta look at the switch, or the light bulb's bad, or I got a bad connection in between. Something like that there. So if I measured from here to here in a meter, with the switch down or closed, I would expect to read 120 volts. And if I did read 120 volts here, that meant my light bulb or my connection to that light fixture is bad. If I'm reading 120 volts here and there's no light, maybe it's not even screwed in all the way. But if I don't read 120 volts here, well then I got a hopscotch back. I'm gonna go back to where it leaves the switch, no 120, and back to where it enters the switch. Oh, there's 120, that means the switch is bad and I can replace the switch and then boom we're done so that was your first project